<laughs> so we're here with uh, Louis. Hello. Uh, and Harriet, he's gonna be filming. And we're just gonna do some strength stuff with Louis. Louis is a climbing coach for Catalyst Climbing. So. I thought we were gonna do a mix of stuff. I thought we said not that okay, much strength okay, stuff. Okay, like, well, I just do it's all strengthy yeah. in a way. Who's the boss here? Who's gonna be the boss, you or me? Oh, I'll be the boss. Okay, cool, <laughs> I'm gonna be the boss. Okay. So um, I run a coaching company in London called Catalyst Climbing. Uh, we're a team of coaches at several walls around London. And the main thing we focus on is um, sort of functional training exercises. There are three important aspects in climbing, which as far as I see it, aren't practiced equally. Um, I see the important aspects as strength, technique, and mindset or concentration, or whatever you want to call it. Most people just focus on practicing strength. And um, I made this mistake in the past. I did loads and loads and loads of strength training and got loads stronger didn't find it made that much difference to my climbing and that's because as I've already as now having done a lot of coaching most people are strong enough already to yeah, do the hard yeah. climbs they want to do and okay although I said there are three important aspects for climbing strength technique and mindset now I realize actually you can put those in order which is strength at the bottom yeah. then technique to make use of that strength and then those useful mindsets so that you can employ those useful techniques when you're under pressure yeah, to make yeah. use of the strength. It all ties in together nicely. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, we're going to start off with just practicing climbing. Cool. If you get to the end, fine, but you have to do it while sticking to these rules. Sure. Okay. Three very simple rules. One would be toes only. Yeah. Second rule would be one touch only. No yeah. shuffling about afterwards. Yeah. And final rule, as gentle as possible. You know these already, these are all yeah, super yeah, basic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the end. Oh well done. Good. Okay, so not bad. Good. Yeah. Same thing again. Yeah. This time I just want you to look on a much, much smaller scale. Sure. With all of these exercises, there's no like maximum level you can get to them, just yeah. the more yeah, self-critical you are. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. The aim of the practice that I do is to develop a certain skill to such a level that mm. no matter how much pressure I'm under, you can still I can still do it. Here's yeah, the exactly. thing, you miss the foothold, you yeah. can drop the roof. Yeah. So, when I'm practicing this, in my head what I'm thinking is, okay, the time when this is going to be useful is when I'm so tired I can barely think, yeah. the hold is a millimetre wide mm. and I get one chance to hit it. Yeah, yeah, that has to Nice. Good. I had a feeling you'd be all right at this. Nice. As someone who's gone from having horrible footwork to possible footwork, this is the exercise I use just to make it better and better cool. and better. That's cool, that's good drill. That's fine. Yeah. Um, Trend that I've noticed with more experienced ones that I coach, is that they don't practice what they see as the basic skills of climbing very often mm. because staying relaxed in the arms or having nice footwork is like the first thing they learned. Yeah. They assume, oh, it's basic, I don't need to practice that. Well, actually, I'm trying to convince them nowadays, no, 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 that's the first thing you learned because it's, it's the really most important, important thing yeah, and yeah. you should never stop practicing it. Technique exercise, I reckon. Nice. Uh, but a bit of confidence as well. Um, very simple rule. Not allowed to grab a handle unless you're touching it with your nose at the same time. The general idea behind this is that I notice this when I climb, unless I keep on it with this practice, and I definitely see it when other people climb. Um, they'll start rocking over to reach for a handhold, but then I've done this a million times, I'll rock over a bit, and then I realise, oh, I'm exactly one arm length away from the hold. Get it, get it, get it! And I start just grasping for it while I'm not actually really rocked over yet, and I keep falling backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole point of this exercise is standing up on footholds properly, maximising reach, yeah. Learn to use hips first, then arms. Yeah. So um, I used to do a lot of strength training where I just hang off the fingerboard or do weighted pull-ups or do leg raises and core training, things like yeah, that. Yeah. The problem I found is that although I was getting stronger, I wasn't learning how to apply it to the climbing. Yeah, yeah. So I try my best to do all of my strength training on the climbing board, and there are two ways that we can do that. One is, and this is what we'll start with, work out what people mean by bad climbing technique, mm -hmm. which is technique which takes loads of strength, 
do it on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, there yeah. will be times where... You just have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, cool. so this would be static lock-off training, I reckon. Yeah. Um, rules are, you must pause over the hand hold for three seconds. Yeah. You're not allowed any fancy techniques that make it easier. I came up with a lot of these exercises because I spend a lot of time in the same gym and I like finding ways of keeping the climbs interesting and again finding ways of doing strength training on the wall just to keep it exciting. So, uh, you want to do core strength yeah, training? Core. You want to do core, core before yeah, power? Yeah. Okay, okay, I, so. I like it. Um, grab the start holds, feet on, do a hand move. Feet come off as slowly as possible, Yeah. feet go back on as slowly as possible. Do the next move, feet come off as slowly as possible. You go back on as slowly as possible. This this one will be hard. I'm hoping. Yeah, I hope it's hard. Um, <laughs> I'm only like five minutes rest. <laughs> no, no, no. Resting makes you weak. Um, so um, resting makes you weak. Resting makes you weak. So does footwork and technique. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, this is just reappropriating the gym exercise. Not yeah. doing it on the climbing wall. Cool. Uh, grab the first holds. Feet hang down. Yeah. Do a pull up. Okay. Feet go back on. Grab the next hold. Do a pull up. Do a pull up like that. Shoulder to the higher handhold each yeah. time. So he made that look really easy. Do you want someone to make it look hard? <laughs> you might find it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, it's like a team of coaches and we work all over London. You yeah. can book any of us for a private session and then we just, you can say when and where we meet you, we look at your climbing, we work out how we can help. Yeah. Um, main thing is we do like regular group training sessions. So at all of the centres we work at, we've got like three or four throughout the week. On of course, home. so you can join a group and, exactly. and, 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 and I guess you've just got loads of these little techniques that you've developed over the years. Exactly. Like you've been climbing since like seven or something so, like that, right? Yes, pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> so, and over the years, and now you're much more mindful about it and really thinking about it, so you've yeah. developed this whole toolkit you're using. Yeah. And that's really cool. It's nice, yeah. I thoroughly enjoy coaching and I learn more and more and more about my own climbing and just climbing in general every day I do it. It's, very nice job. Very good. I mean, actually, um, my, pretty much my aim now is just to like do more bouldering. Yes, yes. But good. boulder, pretty right much decision. all the way to summer. Right do two years in Rockland. Two, two years in Rockland? It's two months in Rockland. It'll feel like two, two years. Do two years. <laughs> two years will be, I mean, like the hot season might be a drag. But like two months in, in, uh, in, in Rockland right. to just kind of just see if I can yeah, yeah. up a bit. But no, that was brilliant. I um, really appreciate your time. Lovely time with you, Nate. No, yeah, it was, it was cool to catch pleasure. up as well. Yeah, exactly. Right, I'm going to roll off and have some dinner. Awesome.